All right, you want to create your first podcast? I've been doing podcasts between the two that we have for over seven years. We have over 17 million downloads of the combined podcasts that I produce and host. And Riverside FM has been my interview podcast to go to for the last six months. I used to use Zoom, so if you're like me and you used to use Zoom to do your podcast, you realize that, you know what, Zoom's not the best platform to host an interview. Sometimes it lags, the audio isn't great, um, the quality of the video isn't fantastic. So I was looking for a new platform and I hopped on a podcast with somebody else and they were using Riverside and I wanted to give you a little demo of how I create our podcasts for Smart Pizza Marketing and the Marketing Club, the interview shows that I do uh, using Riverside because I get a lot of questions about what the software is that we use and I want to share my screen with you and just go through what features Riverside FM has. And maybe if you want to start your own podcast, this is a great way for you to uh, set it up in the beginning. And I'm going to be honest with you, the reason I'm recording this video is so that way anybody, anytime anybody asks me what software I use and how it works, I'm just going to send them a link to this video. They can watch it and set up an account and then just get started with their podcast. All right, so once you go to Riverside dot fm and set up a and set up an account this is going to be your dashboard and you can see that i've recorded so many podcast episodes in here already whether they be screen recordings or just podcast episodes this is your dashboard um, there's a multiple different accounts i have the 29 dollar a month count or 19 dollars a month count it gives me 15 hours of recording which is plenty for me uh, and i have all of my studios here you can go in and once you select your studio, you can go in there and see the video recordings, and then it'll show you all of the recordings that you have. The cool thing about Riverside that Zoom doesn't do is when you are interviewing somebody, and I'll show you this in a second, you can select markers, and it'll mark a spot where that guest or yourself said something interesting that you thought was interesting. And then you can go in and create a... You can create a piece of content... For Instagram, like if you want it to be for Instagram stories or for TikTok or Reels or YouTube shorts, or you can have it be for YouTube or you can have it be for Instagram for the feed or on Facebook. So it gives you a lot of uh, versatility when it comes to the recordings that you do have. But what you want to do is you want to go over to your studio and you want to create your first studio session. Now I'm just going to name this Bruce and then I'm going to click, I'm going to do audio and video, but you can do audio only. You can set it up for later. And you can schedule a time where you can say, all right, this is going to be for next Tuesday at 10 a.m. Uh, and then submit, and then you can invite people, and that'll be like a Google invite. But for now, I'm going to just set up my studio live. I'm going to do Bruce. I am going to do it live right now. I am using audio and video. I'm going to enter the studio. This is what is going to be the area where, hello, you can test your studio out to make sure that your microphone works, your camera works, and then your speaker works as well. And then it does ask you, I am not using headphones or I'm using headphones. I generally like using headphones for my podcast because it gives me the crisp audio in my ear and I'm not interrupting people. All right, it's telling me that I'm already using a different one because I'm actually using Riverside to record this screen share right here. But this is what your interview is going to be like. And you can either invite your guest by an email and then it's going to send them a link or you can copy this link and email it to them yourself. What I generally do is I copy the link and then I have a Google invite that I send to people because I want to give them a few instructions as to what they're going to need in order to do the podcast. The cool thing about Riverside, though, is you can invite audience members and a producer. So if you have somebody that produces your show for you that's not in the studio with you, you can send them a producer's link. Now, this is good because sometimes when I interview guests, I often interview guests that have technology companies uh, and they'll be sponsors of the podcast. And as a part of the podcast or a part of the sponsorship, they'll want to do an interview. But that person, the CEO or the founder will often have one or two people that is setting everything up for them and they want to hang on the interview. Now on Zoom, you could have a guest, uh, but on other platforms that I was using, it would be awkward because they would be sitting there and you would see four screens. The way that you can do it where you can invite a guest on is they can listen in to your podcast but not be on the screen. So it'll just be you and your guest on the screen right here. Now I'm going to hit the record button. And this is going to hopefully work where – oh, somebody else is already recording, so I can't record. But you can go back to your markers here, and you can hit the mark button. 
And when you do hit that marker, like I said, it'll select that point in time. So you can go back and listen to that clip and select a clip. Now, all you have to do is hit record. You can check your microphone here. You can check your camera here. You can check your speaker here. And then these are the settings over here. If you want to do the same thing, you can check your audio. You could set up your studio for later. Um, I always do private. I don't know what public actually means. Uh, everybody in the audience link can watch live when you're recording. Now, I've done the, I, I've forgotten to do this in private a couple times, and I'll notice that when I do a recording, I didn't invite anybody, and there'll be three or four people in here. So I don't know if that's the people from Riverside or how the people got the links for the public one, but I always make it private because I don't want anybody else to join. I just want it to be me and my guest, and I don't want to be interrupted. But that's it. You hit record. Your guest hops in here. It'll be like a phone call popping up over here where it says your guest is in the in the green room. You let them in. The cool thing about this Riverside.fm as well is that it renders the audio in two separate tracks. So your guest has an audio and a video, and you have an audio and a video. So if anything gets messed up, you can just import theirs in the back, and I'll show you exactly what that looks like in the studios. The other thing... Let me see if I can go down here and see one with a guest. Yeah, this is all my recording. So I'm going to hop in here. And down here, you can see this is his recording, the audio version, and the video. And then this is mine. So if it records on two separate tracks, which is way better audio for your podcast. And this is what it looks like when you hop into the beginning. You can hit start editing. It asks you for the size. And then this is what it looks like when you're playing it. You can select the tracks over here. This is Marco's track. This is mine. Uh, this is going to be the size of the video. This will be the layout, so you can make it real small, or you can make it zoom in, or you can do one at a time, or you can do both of us. And then the other thing is you can select a background. I really like that you can select a different colored background to make it stand out a little bit. And then what you do is you just edit it. It's playing right All right, here. welcome back to the podcast. Marco, the you pizza man. Export, and then it'll export your video, and it'll be ready for you to go whenever you are ready to record that podcast so that's riverside if you want to check out my affiliate link to riverside it's in the link below if you have any questions about recording your first podcast let me know i'll be watching this video forever <laughs> it's on youtube and on our website so if you have a question about podcasting or marketing drop it in the comments below and if i see it i will respond i promise you if you have a question you want to reach out to me directly too you can check out the links below this video that's how you get a hold of me with our website and i'll see you on the next one